Hey guys, this is Count OF here with a new episode of Mock Talks, and I would like to begin with information I neglected at the end of the last episode because it cut me off early because I ran out of space and I had to clear some stuff. So, I wanted to say at the end to feel free to request mocks for me to talk about, but uh, nobody really did that because I didn't get to say that, so sorry about that. But somebody did ask me, uh, Break Bionicle to be specific, he asked me if I had the original Silver Talon, and yeah, I'm like, what happened to him if he's still around? And he is, technically. Uh, because, technically, this is the original Silver Talon. Because the story with this guy is that I started off with Talon looking more like this. He was more of a humanoid. Um... I mean, well, not, what am I saying? They're both humanoid. He was more of just a basic, normal character, no cape. He doesn't have all the dramatic... This guy looks like he's out of a freaking uh, circus or something. He's like a, an overlord. Lie. He's like a spooky wizard or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Point is, I uh, started with the, the, the... I started with this guy, and he was silver. and um, And he has kept a lot of the main traits of Kallen, mainly being the the sh the metro shoes as thighs and the full ret the forearm hero factory things masks as shoulders and you know and these and having kind of these these guards as feet and so i carried over a number of those when i decided this is the most warped history ever but yeah this is a silver one and then i changed all the armor to gold cuz i thought it would look cooler and that's what I did. But I also liked the silver one, so I decided I would remake the silver one as a separate figure. And I would change some of the designs, but also keep a number of the the basic uh, Kallen traits, if you will. So that this one also feels Kallen-esque. So yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, the main ones are still consistent. He still has Hero Factory lower arms. They both have Vaki torso pieces as the chest. Um, and the very, ba the say basically they have the same chest design. Um, his legs are different, but he also kind of has that looking, uh, shin. I'm basically describing what's right in front of you, so it's kind of pointless. But yeah, main difference being that he does not have the metro shin thigh thing. Uh, but it's also a good opportunity to talk about how Callan sort of evolved and Initially, I had him have more of like a bone weapon in that like he has a Viserac, uh, one of a pincer as his sword. I always thought that was kind of cool. And as I as I moved on with this Kallen, I uh, got rid of that. So I wanted to make sure to bring that back when making this new silver separate Kallen. So that I have both of them together. And pretty much the main reason I wanted to make this guy is because of these these three things. I really like this mask. I grew a lot uh, closer to it as I went on because the initial choosing of this mask for myself mock to begin with was what red masks do I got that aren't that iconic? Uh, I And I really had, like, I had Metru Vakama. I thought that would be too common. Tahu, too common. Tahu Nuva, too common. And this was pretty much my only other bet. So I was like, eh, I'll do that. And I and as and at that point I wasn't really sold on it when I first made the mock, but uh, I've sort of grown to like it. Something else that I that I could have done that might have been nice is that in his very original form he had orange and dark red as his color scheme, but he, for most of his forms he's had the dark had the mata red and dark red, and so I figured I'd just stick with that because you know and it's a little more consistent between the two figures because that might and uh, come to think of it. A number of the pieces on this guy could actually be swapped with orange, but I like the red ball joints, and that's obviously there are no orange ball joints. So that's pretty much the main thing. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this mock talks, and I would really appreciate it if you guys would request uh, what kind, what potential mocks that you've seen that I've made before. Uh, oh yeah, he also has similar custom head that is fragile. So yeah, I guess that's a good final note. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Uh, if please feel free to request any other mocks that I have you'd like to see and me talk about and me explain backstories and stuff. Hope this has been informative and not completely useless waste of your time. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.